my channel. It's your girl Liv. How y'all doing? So, I'm about to feed my baby. Yeah, this is mom leg, sorry. But, um, so basically, we're gonna do a QA, me and my mom. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, mom. Hi, daughter. <laughs> Um, this is my mom, and we're gonna do a Q&A. I asked you guys on Instagram to give us some questions. We we're gonna do a mukbang, but I'm not hungry. So, mom, let's yes. see. The first question is from Bri, Brila, Bri, what's her name down here? At the, all the way at the bottom? Brilia? Briley. Briley? Briley. Briley24 asks, is your mom completely moved from California to Florida? N no, I only moved like suitcases worth. Yeah, I have all my stuff in Cali, my car still. But, you know, it's gonna take time to get everything here. Mm -hmm. So, she has to still go back to California and then come back, so. Mm -hmm. But she's like visiting. She's visiting for a long period of time right now. Yeah, I might, I'm gonna have to be bi coastal like for a little while because I have a lot of business over there still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jammy, I don't know how to say her whole name, but Jammy says, Will you and Gerard get back together? And if so, or if, oh, will you and Gerard get back together? If so, will he move to Florida? No and no. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, there's a lot of questions about my relationship and if I've already answered it, I'm not gonna keep answering it. Deja Nicole said, how to get over a relationship with someone who don't care about you, but you love him. <sighs> um, I don't know, you just focus on the things that make you happy and I don't know, time heals all. Like. That's all I can say. Mom, do you have any suggestions? Wait, what was the question? How to get over somebody that you love but they don't care about you. Huh. Yeah, I'm waiting. Um, just throw yourself into bettering yourself and, and flip it, flip it on them. Like, before you're, you're throwing all this attention toward them, now you flip it and you turn all the attention toward you and none of the attention on them. And eventually you're gonna start eventually like thinking to yourself, wow, I've really been ne neglecting myself. Mm -hmm. You know, all because I've been trying to make this person happy. No. That's true. That's the best way I can think of. The same girl, Deja. She said, how tall are you? I'm 5'7". How tall are you, Mom? 5'5 five, five and a half. She's a shorty. <laughs> but her dad is a tall guy. Yeah, my dad's like, what, 6'2"? Yeah. Does your mom and dad have a decent relationship? And if not, what were some things your mom did to ensure that you were as balanced as possible? Did I don't talk to him. No, my um, my mom and dad do, don't speak. Um, I don't speak to my dad. So, um, what are some of the things that you did to ensure that I was balanced? Um, I pretty much left it up to you just to see if you wanted the relationship with your dad. Because, mm -hmm. you know, just because I didn't want one doesn't mean that you wouldn't want one. So, it was up to you. And No, I think the question is, like, balanced as in, like, because I didn't have a dad. How did I balance it? Well, uh, I guess the way I balanced it was I had to be mom and dad. I had to mm -hmm. play both roles. So, you know... I mean, I wasn't that strict like a dad, that's for sure. But <laughs> Olivia was got away with murder. And, um, but, but as a result, I don't know. She didn't, she just was very smart. She, oh, was, yeah. she was a very smart kid. 
and you know she knew right from wrong i was street smart not book smart <laughs> no she was street and book smart she doesn't give herself enough credit but you know i tell her she has to give herself more credit because if you don't give yourself credit no one else is going to give you credit true oh here's a good question um a nicole this is not a nicole's 0430 she said you said you don't do anything drunk that you don't remember and that you weren't deleting the photos that you put up in your panties <laughs> the pink panties <laughs> it's like it didn't fit what i was trying to represent or what i am now trying to represent which is i'm trying to build a brand and i don't know i just want to i want to have like a certain I want people to perceive me a certain type of way, and that's why I deleted those, but I still have them. I really want to upload the picture of my butt again, and I want to caption it, kiss my ass, but <laughs> it's not a part of the brand, so I can't do it. <laughs> Re -re Love 89 says, what's your last death row meal? Give me a big plate of Chinese. Oh, she wants Chinese. What's your last plate of food before you dine them? <laughs> Crab, lobster, and scallops. Mmm, yeah, mine too. <laughs> that me too. This is who's Olivia's father. <laughs> Darth Vader. No, my dad is really Will Smith. <laughs> he just doesn't know it. Um Yeah, KK1485 said who's Olivia's father. Um my father is I'm not gonna say too much about him, but he lives in Los Angeles and yeah. That's my dad. F your beauty standard says, hey girl, I always see you girl in my um, DMs. How does she feel about the separation? I guess they're talking about you. How do I feel about the separation with you and Jorah? Mm -hmm. And be honest. Don't, don't sugarcoat it or be nice. My mom is so nice. Like she, I don't want you to talk shit, but I just want you to be honest, like how you really feel. If my daughter's not happy, then the family is not happy. The kids are not happy. Um, I, I just feel like uh, it's hard for me to put it in words. I'm not going to say anything bad about the kid's father because no matter what, it's the kid's father. Um, but my point is, is that I saw a lot of out points and, you know, I'm not going to bring them up. I'm not going to discuss them. I just think some people don't appreciate what they have. I'm going to leave it at that word. It says, do you ever regret where you are today? How do you think you got how do you think you got where you are from before to now? I love you, Liv, so much. You're doing great. Thank you, Destiny. Destiny gave me that uh, question. So do I regret where I am today? No, I don't. How do you think you got where you are from before to now? So how do I think I got here? Um, by trusting the wrong people, really. By trusting the wrong people. But I don't regret where I am. It's just... It's a lot and it's hard. It's hard. My life is a lot harder now. But I think it's just hard because I'm getting used to everything. I'm yeah. still going through the change. But how about you, Mom? Do you regret any do you regret where you are today? Nope. Life is in you today. And you make your own tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Never regret yesterday. So I don't regret any of my past. I did what I did for whatever reasons, <clears throat> but I know that I create my own tomorrow. So, you know, I'm, I do the best that I can. That's that's what I think everybody should do. Mm -hmm. And if you're if you're a good person, then good comes back to you. Yeah, that's true. This is from Lynn Z Queen. She said, has your mom tried hooking you up with anyone there yet? <laughs> no. What I told her was to make a list of every, every 
Um, like every uh, characteristic that she wants in in her future, future husband, boyfriend, whatever, and just keep going over that and you know looking at it so that she doesn't pick someone that you know she might have to go through this again with somebody nobody wants to keep going through this mm -mm, mm -mm. ebony p that's me she wrote mom how do you think Liv is taking the breakup and move i think i'm taking it i think she's taking it very well she's very she's so strong olivia is a very strong person and she's doing a really good job i didn't have to I was a single parent and I only had two kids and they were six years apart. So she has three and they're all very close in age. So I think she's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Droopy Abby, 9218, asked, what's your mom's race? Where was she born at? Um, where's, where, what's your race, Mom? What's your ethnicity? European. Yep. Um, and where were you born? Uh, I'm, I'm born in the East Coast, Philadelphia. Philly. And has your mom been your positive role model? And why? Yes, are you kidding me? She's my only, well no, she's not my only role model. But she definitely is a positive role model. She's always she says i'm strong she's strong like some of the things that she's gone through like i don't know how she got through it but yeah she's definitely my my positive role model she's she's my best she's my best friend oh you are you've always been my best friend saunders 56 11 y'all got some crazy names um which one of your children reminds her of you as a child which one of my children remind Robin. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Definitely. She's just like me. Mm -hmm. um, Robin's a little Olivia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the same lady asked. Have we, have we were partying together? Uh, the only memory I have of us like partying is 4th of July when mm -hmm. we got drunk together. <laughs> yeah. That was like a couple years ago. That was fun. We used to have big 4th of July parties in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. We had like a block party. Yeah, block party. Brittany Pittenger, Stella. What was Liv as what was Liv like as a child? <laughs> I was a rebel. <laughs> she was like the best kid you could ever have. Oh my god, you can't just say that because I was your kid. No, her and Raquel were just to me they were perfect, but you know, probably because I'm biased, but they were just so fun and I loved communicating with them we had our adventures for sure so that's probably why we're all close because of that I think mm -hmm. for Andrea Parker I'm sorry asked are you still donating to shelters yes I am I have to find a shelter because I actually have stuff in my trunk right now that I want to take to a shelter. So yes, I am. Special K 2011. She asked, did a particular event stop you from finishing school? If so, what was it? <laughs> um, yes, something did. I was very severely bullied when I was in high school. Girl, and I say that a lot. I tell you guys a lot because it's true. Mom, you could back that up. Wasn't I very bullied? Mm -hmm. Look, Crystal and kids asked, were you and your mom always close? I think so. We went through like a thing when I was a teenager. I just like rebelled against everybody. And you know how it is when you're a teenager. You don't want to be bothered. Yeah. I, I, I know. You know, it's tough because the teenager wants to go out and do their own thing. And the mother wants to be extra careful because of, of, she wanted, of, her, of your kid wanting to do their own thing. So you bump heads. And that's what happened. Mm-hmm. And you'll go through the same thing. 
can't wait. <laughs> so where do I see myself in the, in the next five years? Ooh. I see myself married and um, very successful career-wise and in a house, my kids happy, everybody happy and we're living a good life. Oh yeah. There's a lot of fun in store. Remember, her kids are babies. She's got so much fun ahead of her. Oof. Yeah, I know, that's what she keeps telling me. It's just, it's a blast. And you keep telling me that your 30s were like your best years. Oh yeah. In the 30s, you know what you want, you're financially better, you're, your kids are old enough where they're not depending on you to change diapers and dress them, you know? It's like you tell them, okay, tomorrow we're going on a trip, Get, go get ready. And then they run in and go get ready and it's not like it is now. Yeah, I can't even imagine. And it's gonna be even more fun, because guess what? You're gonna have like a big truck or a van or whatever and they're gonna wanna bring their friends and you're gonna have so many kids with you all the time, you're not even gonna know. <laughs> Who's who? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just have to find a good person to, you know, share my life with. Well, you'll that'll come about, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Lena G. She asked to your mom. This question's for you, mom. Okay. What did it feel like having a half black daughter? <laughs> did you have trouble relating, to, uh, relating to her? You read this. People be mixing up the words. Which one is it? Oh, your mom. What did it feel like having a half black daughter? Did you have trouble relating to her other half as she grew up? And oh, did you have trouble relating to her other half? I guess my black half. <laughs> okay. And to your grandkids, cheers, love, and cheers, love you both. Oh, hey girl. What was it like having a half black kid? Because people don't believe that I'm half black. Everyone says I'm white. Or not everybody, but a lot of people. I don't know, I never looked at it that way. I never looked at her as a color. She was my daughter. I mean, she could have had four heads and she would have been my daughter. <laughs> so, it's mm -hmm. like, when you have kids, you don't look at them as color or race or or whatever. Every child is unique in their own way. So, you know, you you just you just appreciate everything about them. You pre even my grandkids. I have six grandkids and they're all uniquely different and they're all half black. They're all part black. So. Yeah. Um no, I don't think it I don't think it was different for you. It wasn't different for anybody. Even my cousins. Like, my cousin is half black. My other cousins are half black. Like, y'all had jungle fever. <laughs> y'all was trying to cross that river. <laughs> oh. No, I mean, she, she got with black men. So how is she going to feel differently about having a black child? Raquel's dad is not black. Well, he's Hispanic. He was he's Mexican, so yeah, he's me he is Mexican. Anyway, we're gonna end this. Um, thank you guys for all your questions. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to get you guys' questions. We will we'll do another one of these. Yeah, we don't want to make it too long. And little Miss Muffet here is um very uh frustrated. She. she she wants our attention. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Mom, for doing this with me. Oh, you're welcome, Matt. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.